Hey there, Aaron here with Superior Singing Method, and this is how to sing Improve Your Vocal Tone. Okay, how to sing Improve Your Vocal Tone. Now, t your tone, when I say tone of your voice, that's like, that's the timbre of your voice. Timbre, spelled like with T-I, T, -I, T T so it sounds like looks like timber, but it's timbre. The timbre is like what is distinctly you. When you talk to your friend on the phone and they pick up the they pick up the phone, you you know that it's them. It's their specific timbre of their voice, the tone of their voice. But when it comes to singing, what I mean by timbre specifically is you having like this really nice quality to your voice that's not obnoxious, right? You want people to enjoy the sound of your voice. So I want you to improve the, the tone of your voice. And I've got the simplest thing. It's actually simple. It's not always easy, but it's very simple. And that's, that's why you're going to love it. And at first you'll be like, that's it. But I'm telling you, this is going to make a really big difference. Um, and before I get into all that, as far as like the distinct quality of the tone of your voice, I have, you would not imagine, I have so many students that are like, hey, can you make me sound like Bieber? Can you make me sound like Ariana Grande? Or can you make me sound like, it's like they, they want to sound like their favorite artist. And I totally get that because you love these artists. And part, maybe in the back of your brain, you're like, oh, they're famous because they sound like that. If I could sound like that, I'll be popular, whatever it is. But here's the thing. I, I you are more marketable as you. This whole thing of like the timbre, your voice, the unique distinctive quality, that is what uniquely makes you you and uniquely makes you more marketable and was gonna set you apart. So that's just my little spiel on that. But here's the thing, so to how to make your tone better. Uh, it's simple. You wanna, when you sing, I want you to open your mouth a little more than you normally do. And here's what I mean. You may not even realize it, but, but because of like, uh, like m you get like a little mumbly or sometimes like nerves or, or you, just, you just don't realize that you're, you're, you're not opening your mouth a lot. And I'm not, it's not ridiculous. Like, oh, you know, that, of course it's not like that, like an opera singer or something like that. But notice when you sing, maybe look at yourself in the mirror and notice how you're not opening your mouth. And what happens is the, you can't, the sound can't get out when you're not opening it up, opening up your mouth wide enough. This improves the sound of your voice. It improves the resonance and the power of, and the power of your voice. And here's, here's the other thing. So you want to open your mouth a little wider than you think you would need to or want to, or maybe feel a little silly. And alongside of that is I want you to over enunciate a little bit. Like uh, if you, so right now I'm just talking normally and I'm just enunciating normally. Maybe it's like I'm enunciating a little more than normal. But if I start enunciating like this, you would be like, this is weird. Why is this guy talking like this? But when you're singing, and that's a little extreme, but when you're singing, if you over enunciate just a little bit, it'll actually sound like it's totally normal. So try over enunciating a little bit when you sing, and that will actually improve your tone, and it'll actually get your message across too, because a huge part of singing is getting your message across, getting those lyrics across. So try over enunciating a little bit, and try opening up your mouth a little bit more, and that's going to help you with your overall vocal tone. And check this out. I've got something really cool for you. If you click the link below, I've created this quiz. It's a really cool quiz. It's like it will help you discover what your number one singing killer is. And I, I, I used to be a terrible, terrible singer, but now I've gone on to sing professionally and teach 15,000 students over 100 countries and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of what I, what I base that on for myself is I discovered what my number one singing killer is. And once I improved that, it like unlocked something for me that allowed the other techniques to really help me go further faster and I discovered that there's actually just a handful of these singing killers and I can help you find out what your number one singing killer is and not only that if you click the link below and take the little quiz I'll actually send you a tailor-made video for you for your very specific singing killer and how to fix that one so go ahead and click the link below that'll be super fun you'll enjoy it because it's a quiz and I will see you next time